Thanks to Coinbase for sponsoring this video. Hey everybody, Teddy here. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a market update. Now, the question is, is the crypto bull market in play? Well, that is something that you're going to have to answer for yourself because everything that I express in this video is going to be my personal opinion. So remember that I am not a financial advisor, nor anything that I share in this entire video, financial advice. So make sure you guys do your own research and due diligence. But let's get into the charts. So as of January 2024, at the time I'm making this video, Bitcoin is currently standing at $45,000. Bitcoin has made a nice 188% recovery since its local bottom, and it is only down about 34% percent from its previous all-time high. Now, although Bitcoin did have a total of three bull markets over here, there's really two ways Bitcoin could go from here, right? Either we'll continue to go up like we did back in 2017, or we may do something like we did in 2019 to 2020, where we got a recovery, we consolidated and continue higher. So from here, what could happen? Consolidate higher or continue higher from here. A couple of things we can study from previous bull markets is that Bitcoin recovered back to the 618, got a nice little pullback and continued higher in 2016 to 17. We had something similar happen in July of 2019, hit the 618, got a nice little pullback. Of course, the black swan 2020, and we got a nice little bull market there. And now Bitcoin's actually faced a very similar situation where Bitcoin did hit the 618. And now the question is, are we going to get a major pullback, a smaller pullback, or are we just going to kind of bounce around this area before we continue higher? Of course, historical data does not guarantee future results, but based on what we've seen, it seems like after Bitcoin hits the 618, there's a slight pullback, but eventually we do enter into a bull market. Also, the next Bitcoin halving is in about 106 days around April 26th of 2024. This number or date may change day to day, but that's a rough estimate. And so that is going to be this line right around here. Basically, what happens in the Bitcoin halving is the amount of Bitcoin that is mined gets cut down in half. Therefore, there's going to be less supply out there more demand, less supply equals the price getting driven up. So that's why the mechanics of how Bitcoin is created is so attractive to so many investors because of the scarcity aspect. But what we see is usually after the halving, Bitcoin slowly makes its way up towards its all time high, breaks above it and starts a new bull market. So the question that I ask myself is, do I want to be in a position before the halving or after the having. Also, right now, at the time I'm making this video, Bitcoin dominance is currently sitting around 53.5%. I will argue, though, if you draw a line of resistance, kind of extend that out, Bitcoin may be facing some resistance. What this usually means is that uh, when the Bitcoin dominance goes up, that means that the majority of the market or the money in the market is in Bitcoin. When the dominance goes down, that means that capital from Bitcoin is being rotated out into the altcoin market. So Bitcoin dominance going up or down has nothing to do with Bitcoin's price going up and down. Naturally, over time, Bitcoin dominance will drop as long as there are good altcoin projects that stay in the market. If a lot of altcoin markets do leave the market, then I do expect the dominance to go up over time. But typically when we do see the Bitcoin dominance drop, uh, Bitcoin will usually trade sideways, kind of be boring a little bit, while there are specific altcoins that may have have a nice little run. Of course, I have no clue which altcoins will do that. You know, just to get a little example using Ethereum because it does take a majority of the altcoin market. Uh, when Bitcoin dominance was dropping, Bitcoin was pretty much trading sideways that entire time. Meanwhile, what was Ethereum doing? Ethereum was pretty much making its, its rally all the way up to 4K. So just be prepared for the next few weeks. There may be some volatility right before the halving. But right now, Ethereum is not looking too bad at all from its previous time high it is only down about 50 percent but there are some other altcoins that are pretty beat down from its previous all-time high for example for polka dot down 87 percent solana made actually a very impressive recovery it was only down about 51 percent at one point now it's down about 63 percent link is also down about 73 percent from its previous all-time high matic still down about 71 percent from its previous all-time high it did make a very nice impressive recovery 
was only down about 46% from his previous all-time high. But I do see some pretty good opportunity for myself uh, with Maddox. So when I personally try to think about building positions or entering trades, I think about what has the most upside reward with the least amount of risk. Rose, one of my other favorite cryptocurrencies, down about 80%. And of course, we cannot forget about ADA. ADA is currently down about 83% from a previous all-time high as well. Made a nice little recovery, of course, but slowly going back down. But before I do continue on with this video, I do want to thank our sponsor for this video, Coinbase. If you guys are a Coinbase user and are familiar with Coinbase Pro, well, they switched Coinbase Pro over to Coinbase Advanced, which is their newest feature on their platform. For this example, I'm going to be using the desktop version, but if you go to the top right corner and click on your profile picture, you'll be able to switch over to the advanced feature. Once you click on that, your entire interface will change and will stay like that. The entire charting system is powered by trading views, so you're going to have access to tools like the line drawing tool, the Fibonacci retracement tool, you're going to have access to the measure tool and access indicators like the RSI, which is personally one of my favorite indicators to use. You'll have access to limit orders, market orders, stop limit orders, both from the buy and the sell side, and you can buy or sell 25%, 50% or your entire position or custom amounts anytime you buy or sell. You also get low fees with Coinbase Advance and they do use a make or taker model fee, meaning the more you trade within that month and over time the lower the fees are going to be and you can earn up to five percent in rewards in usdc as long as you just hold usdc in your account while you wait for your next trade to learn more about coinbase advance you can check out the link down below or you can go to advance.coinbase.com and now back to the market update right now the entire crypto market is sitting around at 1.6 trillion dollars it's looking pretty healthy from its previous all-time high it's only down 44 percent and from its low it's made a nice 124 125 percent recovery bitcoin has been traveling in this parallel channel for quite a while and currently it is facing resistance now it's been trying to break out for you know since december of 2023 so for about a little bit over a month if the entire crypto market does decide to get rejected then we may see a pull back in the entire market we don't know how much or it could consolidate sideways but on the other hand if the entire crypto market is able to break out and test this line of support and continue higher that's going to be extremely extremely healthy for the overall market so this is something that i am personally keeping an eye out on now one crypto that i am keeping an eye out on is matic matic is looking a little bit interesting again this is not financial advice this is just my personal opinion but one thing we do see from matic is that it's made its nice little consolidation back in i don't know 2019 2020 once it kind of consolidated, broke out of it, it's made its nice little bull run. Now, what thing we are seeing that is similar to that is that symmetrical triangle pattern that we saw back in 2019 to 2020. So will, you know, something similar happen again? Not sure. But while a lot of cryptos had its breakouts like Ethereum, Solana, even Link, even Rose. I feel like Matic is, you know, sort of a sleeper. So it is one crypto that I am personally keeping an eye out on. Now, the last thing I want to go over is taking a look over at traditional markets. Right now, the S&P 500 is facing uh, its previous all-time high. It's getting very, very close. Although it hasn't broken out of its previous all-time high, it is pretty much right there. Now, what could be dangerous is if the S&P 500 gets rejected. That's going to look really, really bad for the overall crypto market, in my personal opinion. But if we do break out, something to keep an eye out on as well. Well, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Once again, Coinbase, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And make sure you guys invest wisely. Again, everything that I shared is not financial advice. Make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt, all my personal opinion. And with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful time, wonderful day, wherever you are. I'll see you guys in the next video over. Good night. Good morning. Adios.